A Stuart Beam engine refurbishment, part 9. Fitting the condenser oil trap and painting the parts. And I must warn you that in this episode there's a lot of painting. It's come to the time when I just need to paint all the parts and finish the job. And the part that I'm currently painting is the main support for the boiler. I used the grey etch primer first, gave it a light rub down and now I'm using red oxide primer. I always spray paint in the outer part of the workshop and I usually put a piece of board on top of my belt sander which is very convenient for painting on. You will notice that I rest the part that's been painted on a wooden block on the board. This makes it very simple to lift the part when it's been painted and put it somewhere else. And while the primer coat is drying on the boiler base it's time to figure out where the condensers are going to go on the main base plate. To make it easier I've put the long piece of brass in the exhaust port and a short piece of brass into the condenser. And by looking down on the condenser from above, I can easily see when the condenser is in the right position. This is a transfer punch set that I bought a while back, and it's very cheap and cheerful, but it does the job. These holes are one eighth of an inch in diameter, so I select a one eighth transfer punch, and a quick tap with a hammer through the holes makes a mark on the bed plate. This will allow me to drill the holes in the correct place. In the previous video I showed how I marked out the position of the hand pump on the boiler's bed plate, not using transfer punches. And one viewer was very quick to ask the question, why didn't I use transfer punches for marking out the position of the pump? And the answer is simple, the pump's body is wider than the pump's mounting holes, so you can't get a transfer punch in there. If you look on the bed plate now, you can see four impressions made by the transfer punch. And now I'm using a normal centre punch to just make these a little bit bigger, so that the drill will seat perfectly in the hole when I come to drill the holes on the drilling machine. Because I don't want the drill to skate all over the paint and make a mess of it. It's time now to undo all the nuts and bolts that hold the engine to the bed plate. Most of these nuts are very easy to remove. As soon as I slacken them off with the spanner, I can just spin them off with my fingers. But some of them are not quite so easy, the bolts were spinning round. So what I had to do was hold the engine over the edge of the bench, Use a screwdriver from underneath to hold the bolt, and then once again I could spin them off with my finger, as you see here. Now that the engine's not attached to the bed plate, I can carefully remove it and put it on the back of the bench, being very careful to support the flywheel at all times. In this clip, I'm lifting off the top metal part from the main wood mounting base. I'm going to put the wood mounting base somewhere safe, because I need to rub down this bed plate. There were one or two marks on the bed plate to be perfectly honest from the painting job previously and also I fitted the engine really before the paint was fully hardened. So what I'm doing now is just flattening it off ready for another coat and this time I'm going to leave the engine for a couple of days before I refit everything back together. Over now to the drilling machine and I'm drilling some holes in the bed plate using a number 48 drill which is a very good tapping size for 6PA. When I showed this operation with the boiler's bed plate, I drilled the holes, threaded them, and then countersunk the underneath, but this time I'm countersinking the underneath before threading them. But really it makes very little difference because the countersink is a bit blunt, and it raised the bird in the bottom of each hole, which had to be drilled out before I could thread the hole. And in this clip I'm doing just that, using a 6BA tap to thread the four holes in the bed plate. All I need now are some 6BA countersunk bolts, and here they are. When I did this job on the boiler's bed plate to support the pump, I used some Loctite 603 to make these bolts captive so they wouldn't come out of the holes easily. And I did that because the pump is a mechanical component that could need replacement, but the condenser isn't a mechanical component as such, so won't need replacement. In this clip I'm using some pieces of silicone rubber tubing to push over the threads because I don't want to paint them. And that's about it from me for this episode. I will leave you with one of my original tunes to accompany the painting sequence. I composed it, played it and recorded it, and it's called Groover. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.